first open back in 1975. There's a look inside the iconic Mercedes-Benz Superdome in downtown New Orleans. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Carolina Panthers and the New Orleans Saints. The calendar has turned to December, and we're in the home stretch now as we're underway in Week 13. Fielding near the back of the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. At their own 19-yard line. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. First carry of the game for Christian McCaffrey. And he'll be marked down at the 26 with a gain of seven. He was well over 100 yards last week. He told us this week, a little ambitious, that he wants to hit that 200 mark. We'll see. Makes sense, though, doesn't it? Have we ever run into a running back that had a great game the week before that didn't think that's just going to naturally continue? Just make sure you feed me the football. And that's what they're all about. Continuity, rhythm, number of carries. Just keep giving it to him. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. Carolina. there on first and he's already got two catches on the opening drive <laughs> they know he's going to be a handful and sometimes you game plan for that offensively you want to make sure that guy touches the ball and sometimes it just happens naturally and then you change your game plan when he has the hot hand you keep going back to him because he's Yo, down i'm streaming on uh... goes on. oh wow he just hit a good ass run oh shit Damn, he just took it to the top. Christian McCaffrey with his 16th touchdown of the year. And the Panthers are going to take a first quarter lead. Earlier in the week when they had their scouting report meeting, this was the explosiveness that they talked about trying to contain. They were concerned about it all week, yet he still did it to them. Wonder how that's going to carry over the rest of the game. Kick this one away, and off it goes. Taken in the end zone. And it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. Five-yard line. and 10. Patterson, that's to his running back. It's Alvin Kamara. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. A gain of, we'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we have... Oh, shit, is, JP's up in the league. up some points in this game, so offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown given up. Still a couple yards short of the first as the three-yard game brings up a third down. It's a gain of three. Brings up third and two. From the gun, Patterson. It is incomplete. 
So the defense able to get off the field here on third down. And it's one of the goals of the game. They've got to be effective on passing downs. It's one of the few things defenses chart. How did we do on third down? That's a nice start for them in this one. He was only Yo. asked to punt once in the victory last week as he sends this one away. What up, man? So possession goes over here. That's good. And the Panthers will take over now first and ten. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. They'll be looking to duplicate that first drive, the one that got them that 7 0 lead. Of course they would. And look, they're on the road. So getting the 7 0 lead was huge for them, right? Imagine getting up two Hello? touchdowns on the road, taking the crowd out of the game. A big no. deal. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly. Yeah, I can hear you. Because the defensive front. They won that oh, battle good, the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and He's up seven zip. He just took one to the casa. Uh, it's on stream. Yeah. Oh, you watching? Oh, I just got to pay. Come on, take that to the casa, man. Johnson with a pick. And his guys are going to take over at the 21 He fucked up. Line. That pick is ninth on the season. Remember when you were kids and you were playing little league baseball and they penciled you in in the nine spot in the order? That wasn't so good, was it? Were you in the nine hole? Or, or you played the nine position right field? That wasn't so great. That wasn't good. You're, you're picking dandelions. Exactly. But the nine, and he's got it. It's caught in the end zone. Touchdown. From 21 yards away. I don't know why he threw that. An extra point of tying this thing up. He better get back to that run game. That's all he's got. I mean, that's all he's ever got. Is Christian McCaffrey just takes off on my ass? Like, holy shit, he's gone. Here he goes. <coughs> Look at him blocking, dude. This dude just. I gotta go to this play. This play shuts his run down. I just not good against the pass. I can't let him get this run down. But we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. <laughs> On third and one, here's Bridgewater. And finds a man. It's McCaffrey. And he is going to have the Panthers first down as this defense unable to hold. It's a seven-yard gain there on third and two. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and ten. Bridgewater going to give this to McCaffrey. And that will hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. Yikes, a four-yard loss really sets him back now for second down. Incomplete. 
Third and long for Bridgewater. And that is uh -oh, bro. complete. Nah, bro. That didn't last work. Week and nothing has changed. They're still moving around quickly and forcing incompletions. So on fourth down, kicking it away here, Michael Pilardi. And the win last week punted four times as this one's away. A 40-yard punt, no return. And the Saints it's time to run the ball, down. man. I got not. Lose the parents and throw kicks and shit. Let's see what I can do. Set for the their next drive, the New Orleans offense. The last possession, these guys were able to tie the game with a touchdown, and now they'll have a chance to move out in front. Yeah, let's give a big assist to the defense who got the ball back. The special teams went out there, handled things. They got it. They've got momentum. I know they're eager to get out there and put it on display. 23 yards on the pickup there, and a first. And at the 47 yard line. On first down, Patterson. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 15 more yards there, and quickly another first down. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch? And then anything after that, we count that as a bonus. And indeed, he gets enough for the first down. He's taken down. Brian Burns. He's the culprit, and that is now his 13th season as his great year continues. Protection certainly going to need to be a bit better here on second and 16. Operating from the gun. Patterson. Has it Dots, baby. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' 25 yard. 20 yards on the pickup, and it'll result in a fresh set of downs. Ready for the second quarter from New Orleans. It's the Saints in possession, as they've got it with a first and 10. Ready for the second quarter from New Orleans. It's the Saints in possession, as they've got it with a first and 10. From the gun, Patterson escaping the pressure right. And the Saints have taken the lead. So he scrambled right, but was able to look back toward the middle of the end zone to find the target. As you know, in this game, sometimes you just have to know when to break the rules because we all know most guys throwing the football are taught never throw back into the middle of the field on a scramble. He did it and got away with it for a touchdown. Instinct sometimes, right? They just take over. Instinct and vision. Sometimes you just see people who are open, they're able to get it to them. Yeah. Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. I already forgot. I, Jaguars. Or no, who? What happened to the hit? That guy. Yeah, they've fallen behind, but haven't they proven that they can go down and score? So what was the formula that got them down there the first time? Get back to something close to that. Really? Maybe they can get this game tied up. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Shotgun handoff down to McCaffrey. No more McCaffrey. For a short gain out near the 32. Five yards on first down, but now just a one-yard pickup there on second. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. Third down. Yes, that's inside stuff right there, man. That's what inside stuff so great for. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. <laughs> well, not everyone's as good as you. He's the whole package, and that package just wrapped up the runner for a That's what it don't do it every time. Every once in a while, it will blow a play up, and it will just it's huge. This is away, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. And the punt over the side in the air, and the spot will be inside the 35. Let me show you how to run the formation you're running, Terrence. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. Now their last two drives. This X play is this money. It's got them this 14 to 7 lead. And it looks to me 
but he was all over it. This play is money too. Allows their defense to play with a little more verb and confidence. That big article in the paper this morning about them stringing possessions together for consecutive touchdowns. Well, right here, they're trying to make it three in a row. And boy, that one drops incomplete, but if he was hit a fraction sooner, it may have been a fumble. When defenses get to the quarterback that quickly, a lot of times it's called a jailbreak. It wasn't quite that fast, but fast enough that he had no time to look downfield and set himself to throw the ball. And as he tried to do that, he was hit and it forced an incompletion. On third and two, Patterson. No. Oh my God, what the fuck? Oh, throw that. Now that was to a circle. He was going to, I was trying to, I was going to lead it up. He was going to be wide open for a big game. And I just had triangle wide. 46 on his first kick. This one in that neighborhood as well. Oh, wow. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. A nice return that time. It's 12 yards back. I see why. He just fucking got there. With a new set of downs. Bridgewater going to lead the Panthers up here first and 10 at their 36 yard line. And he'll strike by what? This off to McCaffrey. It just made me glitch out, dude. Look at this shit. I just. He will take it, across for it just made me cut. It didn't let me go right at him. His second touchdown of the game, 17th on the year. And the Panthers are now an extra point away from tying up this game. And we've got a good one brewing. We're all knotted up at 14. That ties the game at 14. <sighs> Unbelievable. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. Fielded in the end zone. to the 19 so probably should have opted for the touchback he does getting set for their next drive the New Orleans offense and they're coming off a three and out my friend I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving this is getting in there okay in the backfield Shaq Thompson, he's the one to get him, and that is sack number seven for him on the year. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. From the gun, it's a run for Kamara. And they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. That one good for 17 as they're set up better now for third down. So from second and long, now we go to third and very manageable. Yeah, they love that phrase, don't they? Because as an offensive coordinator, you can keep people a little bit off balance in guessing because you don't have to throw it. You can come back with a strong run game if you want to. And if you're in third down territory, that really opens things up for you. And he is going to have a Saints first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That good for 19 yards as they pick up the conversion on third. Off the play fake, Patterson. He's got his man on the crossing route. Look at almost worked him right there on the sideline. Strong throw and catch right there, and so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking it. No. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Normally, being a big-bodied receiver plays to their advantage downfield. Go up and make the catch, take the Going hit, for the touchdown and pick right up here. yardage. But in I this case, the hit was, was timed good. really well and popped it free from his grasp. Throwing again on second and ten. Patterson out of the backfield. That's complete to Camara. Square and triangle and wide on that. The yeah. Here at the 26 yard line. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. The Saints on mm -hmm. third down. Just one for three thus far. This is third and eight. When all else fails, go to Mike Thomas. They do get him down, but not before he's able to slip <sighs> inside the five yard line. All right. 
We'll just oppose. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. Coming up in a couple of minutes, we'll get you to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. Oh, this is touchdown. Stats and scores from earlier today. Oh, Terrence is ready for it. He will push his way forward down to about the three yard line. Give him two yards on that one. Second and goal now. They'll run with Camara. Damn. He's gonna get this back one more to the time. three yard line and no further. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. And did he the plane? Yes, he did. Touchdown. Alvin Camara with touchdown number 20 on the year. And the Saints have moved out in front. See, it seemed like they were so focused on the guys out wide, they forgot about him out of the backfield. That's a really good point because you've got to communicate, and oftentimes when you start counting receivers, that's exactly what you do. You start from the widest receiver, work your way inside. I knew he was playing the run that last time. I'm just like, fuck out, I'm passing. This plays money. Even if it's guarded, the flat's guarded. Kamara gets open sometimes. It's risky, but... Alright. No big run, because he's definitely going to try to run. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And they hit the home run last drive. One play on the ground all the way to the house. Now the defense making they're expecting a run here. Partner, I love your description because when we talk about hitting the home run, we're usually thinking about a passing play, aren't we? Something in the air, deep ball. But how about them just taking it? Big time John. Now if you're coming back out, now they've established this run game, the play action pass could very well be open. To throw on second and six. Bridgewater over the middle and into the hands of his receiver. Unbelievable. Now the Panthers going to use I was, I should have been guarding that. That's just garbage. As they get the stoppage with a little uh, 50 seconds to go in the first half. First down. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. The shotgun. It's Bridgewater. Gets this to his running back. Oh, it's he Christian had. McCaffrey. Oh, my God. He had his guy so fucking wide open. Second down. It's ridiculous. Four yards on the pickup. Second and six at the 43 yard line. Out of the gun. Bridgewater. Eluding the pressure right. And that will be oh my god, he has people so fucking wide open. I blew, I did some stupid ass adjustments. I don't know what the fuck I was smoking on that. I put my fucking corner on a cloud flat and threw my safety in the deep blue and thinking that would work. So after the second down in completion, I'll come back over Ah, I got it. All right. Let's go. Don't do that against Lattimore, man. Come on, dude. I told Uzi that when he threw five picks to him. I'm like, quit throwing at him, bro. That's what I would do. That dude's just acrobat and everything. This is touching. Off play action. Patterson rolling to his right. Now he'll let it go deep. Oh, well. He's all over that. Man, what what'd he do to guard that? Ah. 
Oh well, it's like a punt. Well, the Panthers five, out yeah. there and ready to begin their next drive. And you got to think, if this is anything other than just taking a knee, I'd be very surprised. Yeah, they've got enough to talk about it. Oh, that was so risky. If I had a safety like in any other fucking league, that's fucking pick six. 13 yards on the pickup, and it's going to yield a new set of downs. First down, Carolina. Three tight ends in the ball game here on first and ten. Well, Angelo will be gone if I'll be drafting the best middle linebacker I can get or trying to trade for one. Down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we send you on over to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman in our EA Sports halftime report. Take it away, Coach. Set now to go for the third quarter. The Saints have the lead and set to receive the kick. Fields it in the middle of the end zone. And a decision to bring it out. <coughs> Cost him about five yards as he's tackled it to 20. 20-yard line. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. Now, last time wasn't pretty. One play and an interception. We'll see if they can do better. I think they want to go ahead and throw the ball again now on this drive after what happened on the last one. Throw it on the first play. Give the quarterback some confidence. See what happens. Give them 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give them a first down. Operating from the gun. Patterson. This dude is just three sacks. Sack. Brian Burns, what a season he continues to have. His 15th sack of the Yeah, campaign. he's using Brian Burns and getting there, dude. I can't. Pass protection has been a problem all night. Every time he, he gets there as soon as I'm about to throw it. From the gun, Patterson. you're hoping for when you run drag routes you're able to hit a receiver in stride and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch but in this situation the defense was effective able to stop him before you get a good head of steam going and he hits him in stride and he finally goes down at the 23 yard line a big play for the Saints on third I just hit him with my money. So the big play gets them all the when all those fellas, I go to this offense, and it just seems to work. I don't know why I go away from it. What kind of flag is that? Oh! Oh, shit. Alright, I gotta use something different. Um, I go to Terrence's play. Terrence's favorite fucking play in the whole world. Many times already. He doesn't really care that they hold now. Just don't let him get hit anymore. So following the hold, they're in a basic hold play, but Terrence loves this one. From the gun, Patterson. Yeah, he's a beach. And he'll get him inside the 15 down. I go back to uh it's a big play. This play, you said it was open last time. So they're still looking at a second down here. It's a little different, but What's the same? Operating from the gun, Patterson. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. I found that last two picks. I threw that one at the end of the half there. The season. And the Saints now add six to their lead. That seemed pretty ideal. There that play right there is money. Charles, you take a little bit of time off the clock here in the third quarter. Decent length drive, and you pad your lead as well at the end of it. And what it does is yeah, actually, let you feel like you're in control either. of this game. Even more so than a two touchdown lead, right? Because you have taken that time off. I wasn't even looking at XO to be honest. I was looking at square and trying to go the whole way. The way you wanted to, and you gave your defense some rest. What a big time drive in that situation. First and ten at their own 23 yard line. 
Watch this. Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. They trail offense first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. I can't wait to see what they have planned because no. this defense I run, I throw uh, my blitzers on man, so it's like a zone man. It's pretty good. And then I use this zone cover three lot too, and it's got. It's good because it puts. I hate when he's up. He's manned up on the running back though. But when they got a slot receiver, it works really. This defense works really well. Let's give a lot of credit to the offensive line. They've been able to move the ball really well on the ground the entire game. And while that wasn't a huge one, that's okay. They'll take them in short, steady bursts. On third down, Bridgewater. Flushed out right. <laughs> Game time. My division. Well, many times when you talk about mobile quarterbacks, you get the sense that they feel like they can get out of any bad situation. They keep moving around. Oh yeah, he said he's gonna win the division after I got that loss to the Bears. He was talking all this shit. Yeah, I mean, it definitely fucked me. I mean, yeah, it's we're tied record right now. I could have been up one game on him and afford to lose here one time. But now I have to beat them both times in order to win the division. If we split and we'll have the same record, it'll come down to some kind of tiebreaker. I don't know if I'll get it or not. But. Oh, shit, that's touchdown. Camaro's kind of slow, man. That's the only problem. Really. Like, McCaffrey would have been gone right there. Yeah, like, Hilaire wouldn't have even got as far as Kamara did right there. That's taking charge at the point of attack, aren't we? Not only they're controlling the initial contact, they're actually utilizing what they call the strain. The next two to three oh, I blew that. I, to to I tried to do a joke. Went right back to him, but he pretty much had nowhere to go on that play. Now, the previous carry looked pretty good. That one, maybe he was a little tired. I don't know. Yeah, maybe he should have tapped out and had a second back come in and maybe make that run. Who knows? The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Looking to throw. Patterson flush to his right. Oh, Patterson. I should have hesitated. A good decision in the end. The pull and run gets him nine yards at a first. I know. Try to pound it in, Camara. And he oh, is shut it down. In the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. He'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and that'll bring up a second and goal. At the two yard line. Thomas, the lone receiver left. Camara trying again, and he'll take it into the end zone for the Saints touchdown. Alvin Camara, his 21st touchdown of the season, and the Saints able to stretch that lead out further. Yeah, buddy, but that whooping on Terrence. He got no defense for me, man. He's got no defense. So they elect to decline it. And why not? Just go ahead and let the play stand, and they'll take that. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. Take it about seven yards deep. Dude, the fucking... Oh, yeah. I usually do that, too. Uh... uh Bridgewater and the Panthers gonna come up here first and ten at their own twenty-one. Yeah. 
ass so much. Blow that shit up. Come on, camera, Jordan. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. A yard brings up second and nine at the 22-yard line. Right here, this play is my favorite play. I got both his receivers manned, and I got a cover two on the field. To throw is Bridgewater. Oh! Tight end on the corner, it's wow. And the Panthers, they're able to draw a bit closer. Joey well, if they're going to make a game of this in the second half, they need a few big plays to go their way. That's one. Yeah. And the way to get it was what? My safety almost got over there and picked it, though. And he should have at least tackle right them. There. Now you're not moving the ball downfield, taking time off the clock. You're leaving yourself a bit. I have no chance, huh? To continue to try and make a comeback. Takes this about five yards deep. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. Let, him, let me show him how to hit the corner outs. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. Their lead down from 21 to 14, but still sitting in a great spot. Up two scores here in the third quarter. A throw left side to start out. That's complete. And he'll get this up to the 34 yard. This play don't work against Terrence. Let me try it one more time. It just don't work. Terrence be all over that shit. The Panther rush too strong. They get there and take him down. That shit just don't work against Terrence. Sunday night. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Saints 35. Panthers 21. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. They'll run out of the gun with Kamara. Able to shake free for about seven up to the 35. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders. He's going to get his ass beat. He's trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up Mojo to the challenge. Line. To throw on third down, Patterson. I know I'm saying the last couple games. That's complete. And he is going to have a Saints first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. 14 yards is the pickup. First down, New Orleans. First and 10 at the 49-yard line. Off play action, Patterson. Gonna be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. And partner to me, that one was all about timing. If he's there too early, it's gonna be a pass interference call. If he's too late, it's a completed pass. He was Johnny on the spot on that one. Back to the ground. It's Camara. And he'll get across midfield and into Carolina territory. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. The recipe's pretty simple, I think, right? Just give your superstar the ball, continue to feed him. Yeah, don't overthink this one, right? Make sure he's touching the football, but you're also counting on his intelligence and in playing the game as well. If he's not there, don't force the run. Just make sure you hang up to the football and keep the clock ticking. eating his zone up, man. Four yards there, nice play. Throwing on first down, Patterson. This will be caught he can't down. stop the fucking angel route. He don't know what to do. Yeah, I know he's sick of that angle route, bro. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down. Stomp down. How about that? Back to back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. From the gun. And he is caught at the seven yard line. And here he'll get it down to the seven. That Nothing. He had everybody in coverage right there. Right. What the fuck? Now on second and goal. All right, Schillinger. Oh, 
get open. Escaping the pressure right toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. From to the sideline and incomplete. It's now third and goal. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play. Third and goal. Operating from the gun, Patterson. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. And this is too far behind his man. He missed him. It's incomplete. Now Lutz for the field goal try. This to make it a three-score game late. And Lutz's kick is good. And that'll push the lead up to 17. So with that, you figure, yeah, this game's pretty much out of reach at this point. Yeah, it's going to take a heck of a comeback. Yeah, that was a risky throw, actually. Don't change that. that channel. Don't go away. Oh, well. Uh, Miracles can happen. Out. And you want to be here in case it does. You're a company man. Now, aren't I done? Their own 25 yard the Panthers lead. out there and ready to That's begin. why I missed the field goals right there. The five game win streak is ticking away here in the fourth quarter. Just haven't been as sharp in this one. He's going to hit me with the corner out. Yeah, he always does. He's going to look deep for more. Oh, bridge runner. Oh, he tried to go deep on me. Picked off at the 25. And his guys will take over at the 25 yard line. I hit him with a uh, one play touchdown just because he didn't win deep on me. Got through a pick. Just because he did that, I'm going to hit his ass right here. Off the play face. Patterson. Uh, he had it guarded. Oh! It's incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. And that's one of those plays where it's hard to keep two eyes on the football oh, when you know the contact's you gotta coming. Hold on. Let alone getting two hands around it, hugging it to your body, and absorbing the hit. Even for those big tight ends who you think can absorb that contact. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 12 yards there in a first uh, yeah, well. When you have someone throwing it that well, that confidently, you don't have to call the game in fear at all, do you? You just go ahead and play. Yep, confidence with a lead to throw it here in the fourth, and boom, he's on the money. Yeah, you don't have to tuck your head in and take and go like turtle. What was that? Look at this throw, bro. I'm throwing R1. The clock. Any surprise or throwing here late? Ordinarily, yes, because you would think enough is enough. They've got plenty of lead, but I've seen this a bunch of times as well. The defense can crowd the line of scrimmage. If you just hand it off inside, you're getting your running back popped a lot as well. Sometimes the defense dictates it. If they're going to crowd it, you have no other choice but to throw it downfield. I don't know. This will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Brings up third and three. The Saints on third down. Six conversions and nine tries. They've done a great job of picking these up. How does he know which way I'm running it? And go ah, it didn't it work. Up. It didn't that work. It's not going to be any help as they dump him behind the line of scrimmage. Now they try to catch him by surprise there on third down, but this defense, they were all over the jet sweep. And it's oftentimes all about what you're doing on the backside of the defense, whether it's the defensive end or the outside backer. Oh. Who's setting the edge? And if they don't get blown off the line of scrimmage, they can really wreck a play. And in this case, they were able to make the tackle for a loss as a result. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. Even though they were able to force the punt defensively, still a big hole to climb out of, especially at this late stage of the contest. He's going to look deep for more. Again, it's Buckner? You want to give Buckner some, some skill for him? Schillinger, he's a beast. Lots to try to add the PAT. 
I had to tag one more on his ass. Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. They're sort of seeing uh, themselves a, spiral out of control. Let's see if they can get things back on track. And this is where the coach is walking that line of being calm and really being firm with his team. At one, tell me once, you know, when we're having a tough patch, this two shall pass, this two shall pass, and if finally we kept having a rough patch. He said, but you've got to do something <laughs> to make it pass. And that's what they have to do. They've got to get some control back get themselves reasserted and calm things down. See if they can get calm and reassert themselves here. It's a first down on a gain of 10. Here's Bridgewater. Oh, I got lucky. I hit R1. Kind of. Another first down as he went right back to the same well, this time for 17 yards. And the Panther first down. Bridgewater now. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. I manned up that streak right there. I knew he throws. Picked off inside the 10. Well, it wasn't always pretty, but the interception there, that means that they should get out of here with a victory. Yeah, this is not a game that they're going to preserve for posterity on defense, but they did finish it off, didn't they? They did make the winning play to close things out. They'll take that one and head to the locker room. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. They're certainly yeah. not letting up on the pressure in this one. And oftentimes you hear this expression, all gas, no break from defenses. But in this case, it's the offense I don't know who you guys. Up big in the fourth quarter. And he's going to go down. Back at his own five-yard line. It's a sack. Facing the prospect of a punt from their own end zone, they need some cushion. Let's see what they can do on third down. On the counter, here's Kamara. And he's going to be marked down short of the first down, right around the 17. It's a pickup of 13, but they're still a bit short, and it'll be fourth down. It's fourth down. And with things looking pretty good on the scoreboard, they're going to keep the offense out there and go for it here on fourth. Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Why were they clicking on offense? They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points. Continually feeling their... I just text Terrence and said, I'm the best. <laughs> they think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. As an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. So for New Orleans, they continue to keep pace for that first round bye as they move to 11 and 1. And they will hit the road next week for a date with the Jacksonville Jaguars. Meanwhile, for the Panthers, this could hurt in the race for home field advantage as they drop to 10 and 2 on the year. And they'll have a chance at redemption next week at home against the Indianapolis Colts. And for Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. <sighs> been putting that two chairs. It's getting evicted. <sighs> that shit's a joke. They didn't get him. What you mean?
Where did you invite Juan to the chat? Why'd you? You got what? Ah! <laughs> about to whoop one up. About to see what he's up about. Do it all. What about what would you do with this last hundred fourteen scouting points right here? These QBs, look at this one. Ooh. I don't know why it's got Logan Stenberg, the fucking left guard. That's the name of the left guard for the Lions. Like a backup, like the... <laughs> backup left guard. I don't know why the fuck he's... I hit all these QVs, I guess. See which ones. Yeah. Oh, advancing right there, and I just fucking lost out on this. It's kind of points I had. Oh, well, I had to play that game. I barely saw the film. Eric Brown? Who the fuck is Eric Brown? Yes. I'm gonna say yes. I don't know. I don't know who Eric Brown is, but I'm gonna find out. Yeah. I did a good thing. I'm like, he barely saw the field. What do you mean? He's my starting right tackle. He's 96 overall. Superstar. Like, that's what threw me off. I'm like, who is Eric Brown, man? He barely saw the field. I thought Eric Brown was my fucking beast-ass right tackle. Well, 
Dude, look how stacked my team is, dude. My fucking uh, left end and right end just went up to superstar, so I got a... Uh, my whole defensive line is lit up. Look, Skinner, 92 overall, Speed Rusher, super, Superstar, and Julian Okwar. And I got this dude, Cheeseburger Eddie. It's pretty far, <coughs> far in. I lost a lot. I've had some losing seasons, so my my legacy isn't very high. But uh, Okuda, look at him. He's got 16 available points on him. Yeah, my Julian Okwar and uh, Skinner going up. Just made my team just retarded. And then my offense, I got two superstar offensive linemen. I hit twice. And, uh, yeah. I got it. For my squad. Oh, actually, Whitfield's gonna stuck. It's a little higher than Ozzy's for sure. But my team's 90. No, I don't know what it's at. I mean, we can go look. I don't know, is it sliders? Two hundred across the board. Yep. Alright. I got a medium round pick. Look at this safety, Amari Duval. He looks like a monster. Six four fast. I'll take him. Got this QB. It's pretty fast. A plus throw power. Twenty one six five. I'll take him. Got this wide receiver. He's number one in three cone. Huh. Six three. Ooh. I need a middle linebacker. That'd be cool if this dude fell because people don't really draft middle linebackers. Here's a fast running back, kind of. He's slow, but he's fast. Alright, I gotta spend these points before they fucking advance. These motherfuckers advance so damn quick.
What? JJ Watt? Dude, out of Michigan State, he's a uh, skipping out on the combine. He must be a beast. Well then hurry up and load up, motherfucker. Oh, no, I'm talking for you to him. Damn. Yep. That doesn't mean he's not Roy Williams.
Dang, you and JP? Y'all some B. Nice. Nice. Yeah, dude, that car 98 is fun. You, the more you play with it, you get a little better with it. I noticed I'm getting a little better with it. And uh, it's just fun. It's a fun sniper. I'm better with the HDR, like, more accurate. I hit more of my shots. But I can get a lot of quick shots off with that. Yeah. JP does JP, if he gets on, he just joins that other chat. And if we're in there, we're in there. I got the tack laser, I know I got that. I got the sniper scope. And then I got there's uh I got the barrel, the monolithic suppressor, and then one of the barrels, the best barrel, and then the stock it's up to you on the stock. You either want to get the one that increases aim down sight speed even more, so it just is super fast. Or you can get the one that increases or helps your aiming stability so that it doesn't sway very much. The sights don't sway. Whatever you prefer. I've been using the the stability one so my sw sights don't sway. I feel like it still aims down fast enough, so it's good. All that stuff. Yeah, the monolithic. You get it yet? It's kind of the most important one. Oh, you can? Oh, nice. What about the barrel? What's the names of them? Is it the 27.6 probably? Probably the longest one. Uh, yep. That's the one. The sniper scope. I don't use the variable on that. I only use the variable zoom. No, just the top five. Nothing on the bottom. Uh, there's two to do the aiming stability or aim down sight, whatever one you prefer. I use the aiming stability. It makes it so the the hairs don't sway. If you can't get that, use the aim down sight one, and you'll just be able to super quick scope people. But you have to hold breath to take your shot because you won't be able. To. I eat up these points. 
Yeah, 